Shalom, Yashrala. Shalom, House of David, the hopeful elect. It's another edition of um, Pick Three to Edify Thee. This year um, is going into um, um, the message today is level up. All right. Um, been up since about maybe 5.30 this morning. Um, I know the spirit just kind of got me up in the middle of the night. And uh, wasn't able to really go back to sleep. Precepts and things just start rolling. What not. And, uh, you know, when that happens, usually the, the case with that is the spirit is waking you up. It's the Heavenly Father. You know, putting, you know, um, holy conversations within your mind. You know, and a wise man would adhere to those things and meditate on those things and contemplate, you know. And in doing so, you know, and it was basically me getting up and um, putting together a quick lesson um, in hopes that it would edify, you know, the sheep because of the times that we're in right now. So like I said, the name of this lesson is Level Up. Um, and that's exactly what Jake needs to do because... We are coming into some very, very serious times right now, man. Judgment is on a halt, is on an all-time high. Um, things are ramping up um, beyond beyond what we thought, you know. Um, and they will only continue to do so, right? So I thought I'd come out here to the pool here um, early in the morning. There's really nobody. There is no one out here. It's a beautiful day, kind of has the overcast, so it's got a little cool breeze in the air. So I thought, perfect time to be able to sit down and, and do a lesson. All right, so like I said, um, we're coming into a lot of heavy heavy persecution. A lot of heavy judgments are are, are, um, are going out, right? Um, there's a lot of folly as well. So for those of you men that are in this truth, and do you few aquas, you few um, sisters that, you know, tune in and listen, you know, it's time to start leveling up. All right, it's time to start really putting on that that whole armor of the heavenly Father, Yahabashim Yasha, she was able to withstand all of the um, the wickedness that is getting ready to befall you, or if, 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 if have not already befallen you, and will continue to do so. All right, um, whether it be through your friends, your family, um, and whatnot, it's time to really start, you know, girding yourself up as we're entering into this into this. Um, we're already at war, right? But you know, things are heated, getting ready to heat up. Um, at an all-time high, man. So it's time to start leveling up your faith, right? Leveling up your um, your studies, okay? Pray to the Heavenly Father that He increase you in this thing and in His walk, right? Um, just leveling up all the way around, cutting off dead weight, dead flesh, things that are around you that will bring you down and anchor you down, right? So you can be the best um, in the spirit that you can possibly be, you know, in the coming days that are that are coming. All right, and the future judgments and the things and the tribulation that we're coming into, all right, is very, very important. You know, we're surrounded with a lot of folly, like I said, whether it be your friends, your coworkers, your family. So it's very wise of you not to be involved or, 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 so like your, or mix yourself up in those things, but to level up in the spirit. You know, as our scripture says, being close to the fire, staying with like minded individuals to help you keep your. As the scripture says, iron sharpens iron, you know, so you want to be around and with those and accompany those who share the, leg, the, the same like mind, the same mindset, right, to help you level up in this thing that we're in within this walk. Because like I said, it's become, we're coming into some serious times on the first precept I want to pull is Romans 1 and 20. For his, for his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly perceived, right? We can clearly see the miraculous powers of our heavenly father you know and these things are made evident since the beginning of time look around the earth look around the world you know look at you know the way the way things are you know for you to be able to open your eyes or have eyes to see and ears to hear and and still doubt that there's a heavenly father or deny something has to be wrong with you right so it goes on to say that ever since the creation of the world right and the things and the things have and the things that have not been made so they are without excuse. Who's without excuse? Those who are non-believers, man. All right. And, and really anyone, you know, like I said, if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you know, you will see that the heavenly father does exist, man. That power does exist. 
All right, we're coming into those times here where he's going to make himself uh, uh, known. He's going to crack those skies, and there's going to be no excuse. All right, for whatever it is, whatever folly, whatever BS that you may be going in, whatever non-belief that you may have, there's going to be no excuse in these coming days that will follow, man. All right. For although they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or gave thanks to Him, but they became fruitile in the in in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened right what does fruit i mean um um incapable of producing fruit right fruitless okay so basically what the lord did he he's gave he's given those people up to rep reprobate minds okay a reprobate mindset calvinism basically a sinner those who are not of the elect all right so if you're surrounded yourself with people like this okay you're not leveling up you're not able to grow thereby all right, so this is, a, again, why it's very important for you to level up, Jake, all right, and be around like-minded individuals because great judgment is going to be made manifest, man. And these people, you know, that have been given over to a reprobate mind, you know, those who are, who, who are fruitile, you know, who don't produce, even some of you who, who, who claim to be in this truth, who claim to be in this walk, if you're not doing the work, man, if you're not out here, if you're not making your body a living sacrifice, if you're not studying, you know, if you're not up here putting up lessons, you're fruitile, man. OK, you are fruitless, man. You're not producing anything, man. All right. You're settling on your leaves and the heavenly father's going to come. And like he said, he's going to take that candle from you, man. All right. That fire that burns within you, man. He's going to cast you in the outer darkness. All right. So whatever it is that you want, whatever BS you on, you need to shed that shit, man. All right. You need to stand bold, boldly and firmly within this thing, man. You have to level up. All right. The Lord gave you this knowledge, this wisdom and understanding, not for you to sit on, man. Don't sit on that talent, all right? But you got to be productive in this thing. You have to keep moving in this thing, all right? The well, scripture says, out of, his body, uh, uh, out of his belly shall flow the waters of, uh, 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 rivers of running water, right? If you look at water that's, that stands still, it's stagnant, it's dead, nothing grows there. That's why it's rivers of running water, because running water, what? It's alive, it's moving, it's constantly flowing. Right. So that's what you have to be in the spirit. You have to be constantly moving, constantly flowing in the spirit. OK. Well, the heavenly father say, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai says, uh, uh, um, well, if you paraphrase and um, he has no place to uh, 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 to um, to lay his head. OK, now that didn't necessarily mean that he didn't have a dwelling place. The heavenly father had a dwelling place. But what that meant is this is not his rest. OK, he had no time to to rest or chill. OK, he was constantly moving and pushing. He was constantly pushing his word out. And this is what we have to be like, man. All right. We have to constantly be on the go, 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 being fruitful, man, to multiply this word, man. We are in the latter end of this race. All right. Second priest up here, second Ezra 15, one, we'll start at one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right. We know prophecy, what that means, right? Pro, before, speak. Pro before Fasai speak, speak before it happens. All right. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written on paper, for they are faithful and they are true. What's written on paper to be faithful and true? The prophecies. They will come and they have been coming to pass. All right. Regardless of what you say or what you believe. Okay. These things are happening right before thine eyes. Okay. Fear not the imaginations against thee, against thee, at not the incredulity of them. Trouble thee that speak against thee, right? What's incredulity? In, uh, uh, incredulity, non-belief, okay? Again, going back to having, you know, being in a company of people who have non-believers, man, all right? Those who like to scoff, those who want to, you know, try and bring you down, whether it be your, your girl, okay? Your, you know, for, like I said, for the few aqua, your men, you know, your, your wives, okay? Don't let the incredulity or their non-belief bring you down, OK, this is your time to level up. So if that means you got to separate, you know, I'm not saying leave your family, but separate from that situation so that you may grow by thereby and build. Then do that, man. That's why it's very, very important to be around like minded individuals, like minded men in this thing, man. All right. So it goes on to say, for all the unfaithful shall die and their unfaithfulness. Right. You see that? All those that aren't pushing, all those that aren't growing, all that, all those who've lost the faith, you're going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. Heavenly Father's going to cast you out and out of darkness, man. All right. And you're going to be fueled for the fire that is coming onto this place, man. All right. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the whole world, sword, 
famine, death, and destruction. Do we not see that happening right now? Hmm? We're in a famine, okay? We see a judgment being poured out daily, okay? The sword is out here, okay? Destruction and death is on its way in a major way, man. So once again, it goes back to doing what? Leveling up, man. You've got to level up in, every, in, this, in this entire walk that you're in, man, to make sure, you know, be circumspect, you know, check to see if thou was in the faith. Check yourself, man, your surroundings, your people, you know. That's why, you know, you know, uh, the scripture says, uh, look into our author and finisher of our faith, which is Yahweh Shah. Ask yourself, man, is this something Yahweh Shah will be doing? Well, then you shouldn't be doing it then. All right. He was made the example for us to walk thereby, man, and how to level up. All right. In this thing, man. Okay. For the wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right. The 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 in the 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 the, the, um, the sins, the iniquities have reached unto the heavenly Father, man, and that's why all of these plagues are happening now. That's why all of these judgments are being made manifest now. That's why Esau Edom is now turning up, man. All right, pushing all these mandates. Okay, that's that devil coming down with that great wrath. Why? Because he know that he has but a short time left. Okay, we're at the very tail end of that little season written about in Revelation 20, man. All right, the Heavenly Father's on his way back here. So you don't want to be found with spots or blemishes, all right, within your garments. All right, you want to be found clean, man. You want to be found on your watch, okay, leveled up to the highest point that you could possibly be in, man. All right, and being around Akim, all right, again, and like-minded individuals will help you in that walk and in that push, man, to level up. All right. And anyone who isn't helping you or pushing you behind you, they're doing nothing but bringing you down. So separate yourself from them. All right. Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. You see that? Shall I say this, you know, because he spoke through the prophets. Remember these things and show yourself men, man. This is the time to be a man, man, to level up, man. Playtime and games and shit are over. Okay. All of that being effeminate, all of that, oh, I'm not sure, and all that. You know, no, no, no. You got to be rooted in this thing, standing on your watch as a man, man. That's what these scriptures do, man. They remove those impurities, man, that we've developed in this kingdom, this effeminate kingdom that we've been in, man. We've developed these, these impurities, these wicked behaviors, these wicked train of thought, okay? And these scriptures wash away all that to bring us, to make us anew. Okay, to walk in the spirit of righteousness, man, to be real men again. Okay, so people will separate themselves from you in this society. Okay, if you're walking as your Haba Shimi Asha walk, man, if you're showing yourself to be men, all right, because masculinity, what they say, toxic masculinity, what the fuck is that? Okay, a man's supposed to be masculine in this thing, man. You're not supposed to be effeminate, all right? So showing yourself men is the key. What does a man do? He stands on his watch, man. He stands on this word. He grows thereby, all right? He stays focused, all right? He's not distracted with BS within the world, man. He understands the times that we are in, man. He's measured the time diligently within itself through the scriptures. And seeing these prophecies come, and come to pass, he knows what time he's in, all right? So with that being said, you have to level up, all right? Remember this and show you sales men. Bring it to mind, O oh, ye transgressors. Right, because we were all transgressors at one time. All right, we all uh, uh, were dead, okay, spiritually dead. Okay, we were that uh, Ezekiel 37. We were those dry bones, man, without life, without this breath, without this inspiration of Yahweh Bashimi Shah. Okay, but now we're in the latter end time, and with that, 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 that water's been given onto you, so there is no excuse now, Jake. There is no more excuses, as the scripture I read previously, one of my first scriptures brought out. All right, we're in that time now where you must level up, man, and show yourselves to be men, okay? Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times to things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure, right? The Heavenly Father wrote this movie from the, from the beginning. He wrote how it, come, how it would start and how it would end, all right? And in the midst of that, he's doing all his pleasures. Because scripture says the Lord loves judgment, man. All right? 
So it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. So leveling up to the best of your ability to make sure that you're walking in righteousness. Everything that you should do, you should be literally living a life that reflects the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. If you're not doing that, then you're not leveling up, man. All right? You're not measuring up, as the scripture says. All right? You got to measure up in this thing, man. All right? And I'm going to pull one more scripture here. You know, it's usually uh, pick three to edify thee, but um, I came with another one. The spirit hit me. Um, 1 Corinthians 13 and 11, it's very simple. When I was a child, I spake as a child. Right, I understood as a child. I thought as a child, right? But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You see that? And that's exactly what this truth does, this living water. It makes you men. All right, putting away those childish things, those emotional, effeminate behaviors, man. All right, and all that bullshit, all right? The company that you surround yourself with, the way you take in and digest and think things, man. All right? And how you're able to block certain negative things out, man, so you can allow the light to come in, man. All right? Going into the scriptures, man. All right? To feed your spirit, all right? That you may be edified, man. That you may grow thereby to level up. All right. When you were a kid, yeah, you had that, that, you know, you, you before this truth, you know, you had all kind of, you know, BS that we were dealing with. All right. Because we had no direction. We had no instructions. Right. But now we are without excuse, man. All right. We put away those childish things and we show ourselves men. OK, so leveling up in this thing is important. All right. It is of the utmost importance, especially in the time that we're in right now. OK, so this is extremely important. All right, so Heavenly Father, put this on my, on my heart to come out here and do this quick, you know, lesson. Pick three to edify thee. Level up, Jake. All right, we're in that time of great judgment. All right, these things are moving fast, man. It's ramping up. And Heavenly Father is making itself, making itself known, man. And, and this prophecies are, these prophecies are being manifest, man. All right, it is speaking because we are at the latter end of this thing. So it's, no, it's, it's, it's not a time for joking and playing no more, man. It's, t it's time to level up. All right. And with that, I want to say, call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhakwadash. Shalom.